Yeah! yeah. Come on, nice Woo! Hole four is a par three. It's 399 feet. And this one's almost the entire way uphill. I would say calling it a par three is a, a little bit of a stretch for some, most people. Kind of uh, perched on a very steep slope that cuts uh, left to right. Chris is going to hang out a little bit further left than I think he may have wanted. And Dickerson's a ways away, as you see. He's going to give this. So he's. Ooh. Oh! And Chris Dickerson oh. isn't giving up. My wow. goodness. I with mean. A 17-point lead. <laughs> it's like Matt's going with another comment or something. Nice turnover. Yeah. Wow. That is perfect. And Matt is just sitting pretty. There's a nice little touch sidearm. And it's right over there by that tree on the water, the V tree by the water is kind of the line you're looking at. So he's hopefully going to come in just a little low skip. He's going to play a little higher. He should be, yeah, that should be down there. That's the outcome. Wow. So I would say all those AMs, you either you have to commit, you either have to go for it or just lay it up. You can't you can't have it both ways. So Matt got an excellent three and he's picking up seems like multiple strokes on a couple of them. For his first time playing that hole, <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and as you said, there are some overhanging trees, so you got to be a little bit careful. Um, you can hit the bank and bounce back in. There's all sorts of different things you can do. And if you decide to not carry the water and get inbounds. Um, this is Tyler's drive, which I have actually never seen anyone to this hole. So if he makes this, I will be quite impressed. Okay. I mean, that's still amazing. That close. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's one of the best drives I've ever seen on that hole. Um, and this is another really fast green. Um, and Beanie needs to hit something or, again, his oh. bag is going to continue to get. Okay, good. He's on film, and I know he wanted to make that and show off. Great putt. Wow. Cyrus for for the save. Yeah, he that, needed that's that. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, he needed that though. Come on, Beanie. There he goes. Yes. Birdie. And you can't really see it from from the film, but there's OB to the left. That's the other hole that they played where Cyrus went in earlier into the water. That's they're throwing right over that little inlet there. So that was a fabulous shot. Wow. That's a huge drive to be back by the road. And Cyrus's drive is just Great birdie. Wow. Good follow through, Cyrus. I love it. Everybody else wanted to know how he did that one. Hey guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner disc review. Cody and I have a very special disc to review today. I thought this was some kind of new kind of hockey puck. Not exactly. I mean, it's. it's hey it's guys. Shape. Guys, I'm here. What, hey, Tim. What are you hey, Tim. To be? I'm NHL's greatest captain, Mario Lemieux. I'm Captain America. Didn't you get the memo? I'm captain of Team DD. Well, we can all have dreams. I guess that'll work, Tim. That's right. Today we have the Dynamic Disc Captain in Lucid Plastic. The Sky Anheuser is my favorite type of shot with the Captain. This thing just goes. It, it carries a long way and is continually turning to the right. Doesn't pan out. And it just, it's a monster crush. Hole 6 is 255 feet. This is a nice, fun little uphill drive, wooded. Yeah. This is where this, you get yes, the wooded way. section of the course. Matt Rozier is going to show you how to do it. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And Matt's just got to drop in. That was a great drive. Uh, you could go long and end up in the parking lot, which is OB. You have Cody with his deputy turning it over just a hair, and he's there. Fantastic Safe. drive. Take your time. There he is. Boom. Great two. That is such a pivotal hole to get a two on. Right. The trick on this hole is to end up down the gap, let it hyzer out beautifully like Jay Gary did just like that. Jay Gary's just, just going to drop his in. in. Yeah, to, to take the lead. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice ace. This hole definitely doesn't play very long, but most people will tell you it plays as a true par five with accuracy and 
the key part of this hole for sure. Rollers are a common play, as you saw Brian play there with the forehand roller. Apparently didn't get as far up as I thought he did going with the forehand roller yet again, and that is a lot better than his first shot. Getting a large amount of distance. Brian, who did not get as far up as I thought, but again, definitely somewhere you want to be lying too. He should have a tap-in birdie there. Great way to play the hole. And then Brian tapping in a great birdie. See, uh, Chris, once again, shaping a forehand. Gets an unlucky tree kick to the left. That definitely, he got past the rock garden, though. Chris setting up his putt for the two. He connects in the left side. Hey, guys, Brian and Cody back for another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. We have a very special disc today, one that I throw. Cody, what do we got? We got the West Side King, and uh, not only do we have it in the TP Burst Plastic, but Brian, what do you have? I actually went the extra mile <laughs> to do the research and grabbed a Tilted Sword King. Uh, really excited for this one because the legend says that the Tilted Sword is more understable than the uh, the non-tilted sword king. Now we do have a difference in plastic here still too, so we may have to revisit this in the future. But uh, I'm really interested to see how both of these discs fly, Cody. Let's start it off by going to the profile. Let's check it out. Turn to the woods there. If you're able to stay on that fairway, uh, you'll you'll have a good hyzer shot up there. Mhm. Mm I think she can get up and down easy for par. Yeah, this course really tests you. Great putt by Sandy. Lightweight, and it's a biofusion one, and it's pretty okay. beat in. So it's been flipping up recently. I'm adding another one in the bag to get it a little beat in. But Missy. Wow. Missy's great drive. See if she can capitalize. Get that disc up there. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. I've definitely done that a few times. Um, just a way to calm yourself. I was Bob, and they're like, come on, Paige, get it up for the rest of us. <laughs> so, oh, come on, right up I was yeah. able to get a little higher well, and take yeah. advantage of the skip up the hill. Oh, great skip. Yeah. She's, uh, she just loves this course. <laughs> Absolutely. That's like the reason why we came um, uh, here instead of the what, what, Music City, I think was yes, the thing. Yes, Music City, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we love Moraine, so we decided to come here. I haven't been here since Worlds in 2015, so. Mm -hmm. Laying up or going for over the OB? For me, um, I don't... Oh, Tiger. Even if I pump it through the gap, yeah, she yeah. was aggressive, and she made it over the OB. Yeah. Um, and Tiger's risky shot here but she's thrown just past it luckily she clips the tree and it drops her within putting range of the basket wow yeah. i know it's phenomenal shot tiger going to capitalize on her birdie great hole for tiger which makes tiger <laughs> yeah the she's second in second place. place looks like we're doing yeah right in the middle Oh yeah, that's right where you need to be. He, that's a good place to be. It looks like he's just to the outside of that tree. Mm -hmm. Red has a great shot up to the basket. Wow. Two uh, after Red putts out here. We'll move on to hole number 12. We're going to skip up. Kind of far out. Yeah. Okay, well, I got nothing to lose. So I'm definitely being aggressive on this putt. Even mm -hmm. if I roll OB, I can pitch up and still win. So I'm definitely, definitely running this one. Wow, nice putt. Yes, yeah. Finally made a good one. Oh. There you have your 2018 PFDO uh, Women's Champion right there. Hey guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. I'm here with Brian Bowman, an amateur player, Cody Wingen, a pro player. We're here at Chenley Park. It's a beautiful evening here at Chenley Park. I want to share it with you guys, but also we want to share a little disc review with you. Cody, what do we got? We got the Latitude 64 Explorer, Ricky Wysocki Signature Edition. Very exciting stuff. Awesome. See in a moment where he landed. Tyler playing a nice turnover shot. And boom. Tyler's drive is fantastic. He's going to 
clip a tree, but he's going to be in the middle of the fairway as well. So it's it's actually a really good place to be. Tyler playing a skip shot back there. Uh, and I think he's going to... Oh, he gets... Oh, he just catches a tree there and rolls backwards. He's going to be far outside the circle there. Well, Tyler here, he's probably at about 80 feet out. Oh, and he nails it! Brings it up from 80. Wow. That was a fantastic putt. You would thought that he was way outside the comfort zone there for putting, for sure. But uh, Tyler just goes for it. You know? But you can't get too far either, because if you get too far, it cuts your shot off. That's right. And Alex is just going to find... Oh, great skip, great roll. I think he's okay. going to be in the ideal position right there. I think that was the best shot I saw all weekend. Now, I have to play this hole a little bit differently. I, I lay up to the spot that a lot of people don't want to be at just because it gives me a straight look at that gap, and I don't really have a great chance to make the corner there. And you're going to have a very tight gap here to get through. And it, Wow, great Anheuser. Disc is coming out. Wow. Past the basket? Yeah, that was my Thunderbird. That was how I played that hole every round. And Alex is going to play out and around. Dang, I did watch. I did watch. Here you are, just past the basket in a bush. What's your, What are you thinking here? Like whenever you have a bush around you, are you thinking about what's poking you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, until until I get set up, I'm thinking about what's poking me. As soon as I get there where I'm ready to putt, I just kind of get it all out of my head. We did yeah. have a, a hornet's nest or a, a ground bee nest somewhere back there to contend with as well. I did hear about that. Luckily, I missed out on that part. Yeah. Manipulate his putt. Yeah, a lot of the times in there, it's hard to find where you're not you're not moving stuff around. Oh, and beautiful putt for his birdie. Yes. Good Using skip. every bit of the seal when he came. That's right. He likes to give it a good practice, a few practice tries before going. Yeah, and he, it, a, he uses a nice routine, and he shows you it works out for him there. Yeah, that's right. It's far right into the woods there. He's going to get a good flex out of that. Oh, yeah. Yep. What a drive. <clears throat> I'm going to try this next time that I putt. I'm going to try this stretch. Get your blood flow in there. That's right. It's working for him. I got. I, <laughs> maybe it'll work for me. Who knows? Hey, guys. Welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. Zach and I are here to review a very special disc from Viking Disc that they sent us. It's the Loki and the Storm Plastic. This is labeled as a utility putter, Zach, but it doesn't feel like that to me. What do you think? Yeah, I wouldn't believe everything you read, Brian, but this is definitely more utility than it is a putter. There's for some mischief sure. going on here. Absolutely. Well, that's called Loki. It uses the features of, um, of the course, this extreme elevation, uphill, downhill change. Wow, Brad also throwing an, an FLX buzz, ESP Flex. <laughs> That's it. Oh, examination. Yeah, we got an, he's going to have a beautiful putt from that angle. And speaking of narrow windows. Wow. Andrew Fish making an amazing putt through shrubbery with a tree in the way. <laughs> I was surprised to see how low to the ground everyone was playing. Everyone was really trying to control the height. So they didn't have to worry about hyzering out up onto the road. Um, and he's one of the better players that comes into our area, um, as, as well as Brad and Tyler from the Columbus area. Owen that from the from the woods, even great putt for him. Very nice hill. Maybe hyzer around to the left a little bit, but then you got to play kind of like a straighter tunnel shot to uh, Chris. Is, has perfect uh, placement here. Wow. Yeah, this is, if you could, as uh, as they say, if you could pick it up and drop it somewhere, that's probably about where you'd like to. Chris, this is uh, for his bird. <laughs> Another birdie. 
What a surprise from Chris today. <laughs> he is lighting it up. Perfect. That Winter is pole. his ninth bird. Hey guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. I'm joined by Greg Haig to my right, and Vinny's supposed to be around here somewhere. We're supposed to be reviewing a gateway disc today, and I was really curious what it was. I'm not... It's the assassin. Ow. For sure. And special thank you to Jeff Revilla for the catch cam work. Here's a shot of Nick throwing over that huge water and uh, parking the hole. Close to the lead. Now tying. And Nick is going to be doing the same thing. Tying up with Andrew after the first hole. Three-way tie for the lead. Yeah, I think going higher up in the air, maybe got more underneath it and uh, just pushed him way back where, uh, where Nick ended up. Now Sam is going to go for what Mike did here. Great skip. Oh, he's inside the circle. And Sam for his bird. Great right. job by Sam. Now, this is after two rounds of Moraine the previous day in horribly wet and rainy conditions. <laughs> <laughs> These guys still have this much energy left to be able to do this. That's that's impressive because all of those adverse conditions just adds to the fatigue factor. Yeah, you know, really having to plant your body harder and maybe not be as fluid as you would because you're worried about your footing. So your muscles are, are definitely feeling it. Mike for his bird. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's what they did. So he's going to go for that exact same thing. The That's consistency great. here. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> A stroke here. Do it. He's oh, I think he in. So Sam for his bird. Great bird. So if Nick is able to make this putt, he and Sam will be tied for first place in the tournament. And, of course, he makes it. Well, dang. Wow. So, we'll have Sam and Andy come over and make their final putts. This is for Andy's bird. Great finish there for Andy. Hey guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. Jeff and I are so excited because we have a new line of discs from Yikun Discs that we're reviewing today. We, we're gonna start off with the putter. It's the Gui and the Tiger line, which is the more solid plastic, and the Phoenix line, which is the more translucent plastic. I'd say it's probably more the premium plastic. Absolutely. Now, Jeff, what did you think of this disc? Uh, two things, one, right off the bat, you notice that there's a little bit of a grip, a little bit of texture on the bottom if you want smooth or rigid, which I really like that. And I also like, uh, if you've seen other videos, I struggle throwing putters. I was able to throw this, it flew like a mid-range for me. I had great control with it, uh, and it was a great flyer for me. And Cody here, and he's a couple strokes back. He knows he has to really power this one up there, see if he can grab those strokes right now. He's giving it a great run. Oh, 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 and then just an unfortunate roll away. But let's see that in a replay here. Oh, so close. Just <laughs> I'd, shy. I'd say two inches higher. Let's see if he can come back from that. And he does as well. Joe's going to try to one up that here. It's a little high. But get down. Yeah, he's there. Wow. And Joe for his second shot. This is gonna flex out wow. and oh he's just past the basket. Wow. wow, what a birdie for Joe there. That was a death putt going downhill, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. I'm joined by Jeff and Zach. Guys, how's it going? Going good. Yeah, really good. Awesome. Because today we actually have a special disc from Disc Mania. It's the PD in the C-Line Metal Flake Plastic. It looks really baller, really cool. 
Uh, we're all really excited for this one, so let's go ahead and take it to the profile. The PD in the Metal Flake Sea line plastic feels great. Um, and uh, we, wow. as we were discovering this layout, they just sort of presented themselves to us, and we said... And Finney, Finney's drive is amazing here. Unbelievable. Uh, he was he cut through. Vinny here is going to have some strange footing for his putt. But not going to be a problem. That's a good putt. And, and it's it's kind of a blind shot, which is... That's a, you can see Adam check his footing. It's a little little swampy right around there. He had some mud or some rain recently, but Adam's in for a birdie as well. Let's see what, how Colby decides to attack this hole. There He's it going is. with a yeah right hyzer. It's coming in. Yeah. Oh yeah. He caught right. some trees where his friend there <laughs> by them. Not quite. It's really. Colby's in for a two. The mando. There is a mando that requires players to play out around this parking lot. And Alan looks like he's throwing it out there wide enough to do, clear the mando, and it's yeah. coming in nicely. Oh yeah, that's played nicely. Good putt there by Alan. No problem, that's a birdie for Alan. Go up to Shenley, up to the Oval and play. And I would laugh at it, why would we want to play there? This is a great course over here. I called it Coman's Folly, but he had, he had a vision of making a more of a championship caliber course, which back then really was. And in this small area here, somehow he made a good design that has stood the test for all these years. It's still a challenging and fun course to play. And we owe a debt of gratitude to Steve for sticking with this plan out here to get our first course here. So, yeah. 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 